say, on the radio. But that's what's happened in the last 15 minutes or so. By my calculation, and I've run out of fingers doing the counting this morning, there are currently 29 ministerial vacancies within government, raising the obvious question about the capacity of the government to function. And meanwhile, as you say, Michelle, no answered calls or texts or WhatsApps or any other form of communication from people in Downing Street over the last couple of hours. That is entirely, we should underline, unconventional. That just doesn't happen in normal times. Even when an hour ago I said on the radio, look, if I speculate that Boris Johnson is contemplating right now his imminent resignation this morning, if I'm wrong, please tell me, no calls or texts after that either. So I think we can say with reasonable confidence that that is the conversation that's happening in Downing Street right now, a conversation. In fact, uh, Michelle, as I speak to you, I'm getting a call from Downing Street, so I'm going to take this call and I'll come back on to you uh, in just a second. Chris, you take that call. Let me tell our listeners while you take the call that the Defence Secretary, Ben Wallace, has just put out a hugely significant tweet. A number of us, he says, have an obligation to keep this country safe. Advising him in the bunker to stay are just simply delusional. And I hope that Chris Mason's call that he's receiving is to say that that podium... Uh, Tobias, you know, Elwood, forgive Chris. me, we're going to yeah. interrupt you because Chris Mason has news. Yes, um, Chris, let's go straight back to you. You were just talking to Downing Street. The Prime Minister has agreed to stand down. He has spoken to Sir Graham Brady, the chair of the Backbench 1922 Committee, this morning and said that it is appropriate for him to stand down and for the party to pick a new leader in time for the party conference, that being at the beginning of October. I expect we'll hear from the Prime Minister at lunchtime, if not before publicly, uh, spelling out that he is resigning as Conservative Party leader. That will start a process, a leadership race, to select a new Conservative Party leader. We should emphasise that in the meantime, he will carry on as Prime Minister. So he will continue as Prime Minister until the autumn, allowing a Conservative Party leadership race to select the next Prime Minister to begin. But we can report, just to emphasise what I've just been told, the Prime Minister has agreed to stand down. Which, which is quite a moment, Chris. So it was all developing this morning. Yeah, a huge moment. It was all developing. All of those unanswered calls were because a conversation was going on in Downing Street about what Boris Johnson would do amid this clamour of resignations happening, as we've been reporting since half past six this morning, of minister after minister after minister saying they no longer had faith in Boris Johnson, including, as we were saying just a couple of minutes ago, ministers appointed to his cabinet a matter of 35 hours ago. To carry on as prime minister, and therefore, of course, I had to resign as a minister in his government, which uh, I did. Chris, Phil, uh, thank ago. you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I'm going to cut you short. I just want to bring in Nick now because we're getting more information. Uh, just bring us right up to date, Nick. Yeah, just through from my colleague Chris Mason, our political editor, that the expectation is now that Boris Johnson will resign today. That power has been sat from him in a way that it's impossible for him to continue. And that in the next few hours we will hear Boris Johnson say that time is up. It seems like the message from the Chancellor, the new Chancellor, that they had to go, the resignation of ministers that were put into office just within the last few hours, that that has been enough to tip the balance. And the expectation now, according to my excellent colleague Chris Mason, is that the Prime Minister will be gone now. OK, so this is based uh, from the BBC's political editor, Chris Mason. His, his information is that the resignation will happen today because this was the speculation that would it be today, would it be dragging into next week? But it seems clear that the sequence of events this morning, with some very, very significant interventions, literally in the last 15 or 20 minutes, has changed things once again. Yeah. So basically, yeah, exactly that. The, the situation has evolved in a way over the last few hours that Boris Johnson, who last night was planning to, to cling on to power, had planned some sort of uh, reshuffle today to try and get his, uh, his his leadership back on track that that has now been pushed over the edge that he's decided he can't go on and the expectation now is that he's going to resign. George Freeman, he has his supporters. Good morning, George. Good morning, Nicky. Hi. Um, this is an extraordinarily successful politician. Why do you want him to go? He has a massive 
mandate. So uh, Boris Johnson, uh, we're just hearing uh, Boris Johnson is resigning as yes. the Conservative Party leader. Chris yes. uh, Mason has been uh, told uh, that news is just yep. in. Um, George Freeman, what's your reaction? Well, I'm pleased. Um, I'm very, very sad. This is a personal tragedy for him. But the truth is, uh, he has betrayed the promises that he made many of us. We elected him in the noble tradition of one nation conservatism. There have been fears amongst some of his team as to whether he would try to go into a general election. We are now hearing from Chris Mason, our political editor, that Boris Johnson will resign. So Chris Mason, our political editor, saying Boris Johnson is going to resign here from Downing Street. We will expect to confirm that as fast as we can. And of course, Chris Mason must have uh, obviously uh, heard that from uh, his sources. But of course, the writing has been on the wall uh, really since we heard uh, uh, the details. We've been here be before with reports like that, Stephen, suggesting he, he is going to go, but he, you know, yeah, controversy yeah. to controversy, he's still there. Yes, people like uh, Pippa uh, Career and um, Paul Brand, from uh, who have uh, broken quite a few stories. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. But uh, things may be moving this morning. But the fact that they even got to this point, I think, is is is, is damning in, in itself. Uh, I have to say, it's particularly no notable that the DUP, uh, amongst all the Northern Ireland parties, haven't yet come out. Uh, to call for his uh, re resignation. They keep saying this is an internal matter uh, for the Conservative Party, but this is a, a matter for the whole UK, its credibility, and indeed its, its current governance. And just indeed, a, just it's, to break it's, in it's there, for, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Stephen. Uh, Chris Mason, the BBC's political editor, is saying that Prime, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson will resign today. Yeah. So it looks yeah. like the writing may be, be on the wall. Uh, any surprise with yourself, Doug Beatty? No, he should have went a long time ago, and, and we, we did say this as a party um, as far back as the, the Partygate scandal, that his credibility and his integrity were shot then, so he should have he should have left then. And what the parliamentary recess was due to happen, which is why this is, again, very, very selfish. I mean, Theresa May deliberately left when she saw things going wrong to give time for the party to find a new leader before the parliamentary recess. Boris Johnson, again, is not doing that. OK, now I am going to go with this. Uh, I'm just hearing from a very high-level government source telling me that it's done. It's done. He needed a final push, push rather, but it is done. Come back to you in just a second, Rory, your thoughts on that. that? Well, it sounds like it's all over, Kay. If you're hearing it from someone very senior in the government that it's all over, I think that is very much what we were expecting and what has been looking inevitable over the past few hours. If it seemed yesterday that Boris Johnson thought he could carry on and get new people in his top team, it's become incredibly evident this morning with the departures of more key cabinet ministers, other cabinet ministers making clear that they won't desert their posts for national security reasons, but urging the prime minister to go. It is game over. And it sounds from what you're saying and from what we're hearing from others in Downing Street as if the prime minister is now preparing for that and will be uh, preparing to go in the coming hours. Um, there's not much left for the Prime Minister to do apart from keep giving these statements saying, I'm going nowhere. There is one thing he could do, Andrew, and that is call a snap general election. It's a huge risk for him. Do you believe it's a possibility? You know, Stephen, we have just heard that Boris Johnson will resign as Conservative Party leader today. The BBC just breaking that news, so that is now... Another development in this, the final resignation of all of these resignations, the ultimate one, Boris Johnson now is going to quit as a Prime Minister. In a sense, we have been waiting for that news, Stephen, all yesterday, all morning today. It has been quite some morning, and that looks like him now finally going to be leaving number 10 today. Uh, Andrew, thank you for confirming that. Yes, after 1,079 days in office, Boris Johnson says he has resigned, he is going as Prime Minister. He lasted one day longer in office than Neville Chamberlain did, Andrew, 30 days longer than Gordon Brown, but he has finally gone. Hello, welcome back. Now, let's go back to our Jonathan Swain, who, as at Westminster, things are developing very, very quickly, as you could imagine. And we're hearing that he is going to be expected, Boris Johnson, to resign at some point today. Jonathan, what are you hearing? 
Yeah, morning to you. It's all been happening here. We've had lots of resignations, haven't we, uh, this morning? We saw the uh, chief whip go inside for two hours now uh, with Boris Johnson. And it does look like we're hearing strong rumours here uh, from number 10 uh, that Boris Johnson uh, will resign from position of Prime Minister and the leader of the Conservative Party, uh, certainly within hours today. So that uh, statement, we understand. We told you about it, didn't we, just uh, a few moments ago, that people are inside preparing a statement. Obviously, the the word has got through. He has listened to all of these resignations, now numbering uh, more than 50, uh, including even people that he appointed only uh, a couple of uh, days ago, like the Education Secretary, uh, Michelle uh, Donnellan. She has resigned within the last uh, few minutes as well. So breaking news from Downing Street that uh, the word is that Boris Johnson is to resign as uh, the Prime Minister. Uh, what's that happens now for the country uh, and the party? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Will there be an immediate leadership contest? Will he stay in position? We'll have to wait and see. But we're expecting a statement from the Prime Minister uh, shortly here outside the door of Number 10 Lorraine. Thank you, Jonathan. It's all happening. Can I just say, and I'm taking no credit for anything, um, Psychic Pig. Psychic Pig said it. But 10 minutes ago, Mystic Marcus, there he was, and he said go. And then almost immediately, we heard that <laughs> Boris Johnson was going, now you might think that's quite silly. But pigs are very intelligent, I think you'll find. It's, 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 now. it's there not is, just is, Boris, it's the entire Conservative Party. There is party. just it's absolutely no bunch. way, there is absolutely no way that Boris Johnson can, should, or I th honestly, there is no way he could call or, a general election. I think the Queen would have to step in at that point. Listen, Rashid, I'm going to pause you there. Thank you very much indeed for your call. You're listening to LBC. It is now being reported by a number of outlets that the Prime Minister is going to resign today. We await official word from Downing Street, but it is now being widely reported that the Prime Minister has decided that he will go and he will resign today. Whether that means he will stay in office as Prime Minister until a new person is chosen, we will wait and see. We will wait for what Downing Street tell us formally, but I'm telling you what is being widely reported now, that Boris Johnson is to resign today. Parliamentary democracy. So if Parliament, those MPs decide that he should go, then, then he needs to go. But we'll park that to one side. His argument is he has a mandate from the people. Um, what happens next? <laughs> I cannot see how he lasts the day, Dot, in all honesty, because Gareth, there, there Gareth, is no functioning you know, do you know government what I'm gonna at the do? moment. Gareth, go on. Oh, I'm... he's going, is he? Boris Johnson will resign as Prime Minister today. The BBC has been told. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there's no functioning government, Dot. That's absolutely no surprise. He, he cannot fill the ministerial posts and the government aid posts, all the vacancies that have been created. So many people have resigned. There is no one left to fill it. Now, if people are listening to this, I think it's quite important to point out, people are listening and thinking, no functioning government, does that mean my benefits won't be paid? Does that mean my pension won't be paid? It doesn't mean that. That, that bit of government will still function quite handily. What it means, the longer that this works... Um, we're getting briefings from journalists all over the place saying that he has now agreed to resign. Uh, so I would be incredulous if uh, it doesn't happen in the next uh, few hours. Um, uh, yeah, so we are, we're hearing the same report. So BBC, the national broadcaster here, saying he has decided to resign and the other lobby correspondents are getting similar sort of reports as well. Um, I mean, he pushed it as far as he could, didn't he, right? So he basically had the cabinet going to him yesterday, uh, them asking for him to go. He didn't go. And that was really crossing the line for the likes of Sahari. Yes, it was. I mean, normally when we have seen um, prime ministers in this situation before, it really hasn't taken a public delegation uh, of their colleagues to tell them their time is up. Normally that conversation would be conducted in private and probably well before uh, what we saw yesterday. Thank you, John, from Greenside in Edinburgh. A brilliant Pick Your Own playlist, Mr Blue Sky, Hush from Deep Purple, The Night, Frankie Valley, and The Four Seasons. It's BBC Radio 2, Thursday morning. Time for some breaking news now from Claire.
Thanks, Zoe. And in the last few minutes, the BBC has been told that Boris Johnson has agreed to stand down as Prime Minister. He'll remain in the post until the autumn to allow the Conservative Party to choose a new leader. Mr Johnson is expected to make a public statement in the next few hours. And we'll have more on that at our next news bulletin here on BBC Radio 2 at 10. Thank you very much, Claire. Updates through the morning and, of course, with Jeremy from Midday. John Summit and Ladanza on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. It's Greg James here. It's 20 past nine on Thursday, the 7th of July. And look, we said that Roisin Hasty would keep you updated with everything throughout the morning. And Roisin's here in the studio with me now with an important news update. Yeah, so in the last few minutes, the BBC's political editor says he's taken a call from Downing Street saying the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, will resign. We're expecting to hear from him around lunchtime or before. It's after a record number of politicians in his own own Conservative Party quit their government jobs, saying they didn't think he should lead the country, putting pressure on him to go. It follows claims he knowingly lied to his top team. Now, this is a breaking news story. We'll bring you more on Newsbeat throughout the morning. Our next bulletin is in 10 minutes. The latest developments are also on the BBC News app. But to recap, the BBC has been told the Prime Minister will resign today. BBC. Radio 1. Radio I do, I do. You need sure. to come back and I know, see but it's it. exciting, so it's fine. Well, right now, we so many events are unfolding. It was inevitable. Let's hand you over to ITV News. Good morning. We are breaking into programmes to bring you the news from Downing Street that Boris Johnson will resign today. In the last few minutes, a number 10 spokesman has confirmed the Prime Minister will make a statement to the country today. His authority has been draining away following dozens of ministerial resignations. This morning alone, eight ministers have quit. That brings the total to 54 so far. That includes his education secretary, Michelle Dolian, who was only appointed two days ago. And in the last hour, his new chancellor, Nadim Zahawi, who was also appointed in the last couple of days, called on him to go. This is a fast developing story for uh, people who are just joining us. We are breaking into programmes to bring you the news from Downing Street this morning that Boris Johnson will resign today. In the last few minutes, a number 10 spokesperson has confirmed the Prime Minister will make a statement to the country today.